What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Race. Descendants, the popular Disney Channel movie series, is back with a new adventure called Descendants 4 The Rise of Red. These movies follow the kids of Disney heroes and villains as they have magical adventures. The first three films were big hits, and fans are excited for the fourth one. Fans are eagerly waiting for Descendants 4 The Rise of Red. It has a great story, a talented cast, and amazing visuals, making it a movie that will amaze everyone. Following the passing of actor Cameron Boyce, Descendants faced the loss of its prominent cast members. This led to a debate about whether Descendants should proceed or not. Despite these circumstances, Descendants 4 has made strides in its development. However, it's important to note that the fourth installment doesn't simply pick up where Descendants 3 left off. Due to the absence of the key characters from the previous movies, there are concerns about the coherence of the storyline. Nevertheless, Descendants 4 is well prepared to address these uncertainties and bridge the gap by addressing viewers' inquiries. The initial trilogy, consisting of Descendants 1, 2, and 3, depicted the challenging experiences of the children of villains and their eventual embrace of love. Descendants 3 culminated with a permanent dismantling of the barrier that separated Oridon and the Isle of the Lost, delivering a gratifying conclusion. However, Descendants 4 holds the promise of heightened amusement as it delves into the process of love evolving into malevolence. Jennifer Fong, recognized most recently for her directorial work on select episodes of The Flight Attendant and Stargirl, holds the positions of director and co-executive producer for Descendants The Rise of the Red. At the same time, the screenplay for the movie is being crafted by Dan Fry and Russell Sommer, who are also serving as executive producers for Magic the Gathering. In an exclusive sneak peek unveiled by Entertainment Tonight on March 23, it was revealed that filming has already commenced. The production is said to have kicked off in Atlanta, Georgia in late January this year, and is scheduled to conclude in mid-March. However, there is no definitive confirmation regarding the completion of the filming process. People who love Descendants can look forward to an interesting story with surprises. The movie is about stopping a takeover in Oridon during a happy event. Red and Chloe need to act quickly to protect their family and kingdom. As they move forward, they discover hidden things and solve mysteries that will keep viewers excited and curious. Disney has shared that the movie will take place in the magical lands of Oridon and the Isle of the Lost. It will also introduce Wonderland, a fantastical place from Alice in Wonderland. The story focuses on Red, the Queen of Hearts' child, and Chloe, the daughter of Cinderella and King Charming. Their adventure happens during a disturbance at a celebration for a new royal baby. To prevent a potential problem, Red and Chloe team up and use a special time travel device made by the Mad Hatter's son to go back in time. So that's how the story will revisit the era of Merlin Academy, the predecessor to Descendants or Dawn Prep to put it differently. The central element of the pocket watch revolves around time travel, enabling the characters to witness the youthful iterations of renowned Disney villains. Notably, the Pocket Watch also introduces the initial portrayal of younger versions of Jasmine, Aladdin, and Prince Charming. This particular aspect underscores one of the significant divergences from the previous films. Instead of concentrating solely on the succeeding generations, the Pocket Watch shifts its focus to an earlier period, delving into the youthful lives of the parents. In addition to the captivating storyline, Descendants 4 The Rise of the Red will feature an incredible soundtrack that combines new original songs with beloved classic Disney tunes. These songs will not only enhance the emotional depth of the film, but also provide a memorable musical experience for audiences of all ages. The talented cast includes Kylie Cantrell and Malia Baker as the young leads, bringing their exceptional acting skills and undeniable charisma to their respective roles. The upcoming film marks a significant departure from the Descendants series, as it will be the first movie in the franchise to be created without the presence of actor Cameron Boyce, 
who portrayed Cruella Deville's son Carlos and tragically passed away in 2019. Notably, Dove Cameron, the well-known pop star who portrayed the central character Mal, along with Sophia Carson, who played Evie, the evil queen's daughter, and Boo Boo Stewart, who portrayed Jay, Jafar's son, is reported to be absent from the film. Dove Cameron engaged in an interview with Pop Buzz, where she discussed the potential of her involvement in a Descendants reboot. In this conversation, the talented and stunning actress, known for her role as Mal in the series, expressed her reluctance to participate in the continuation of the franchise. She indicated that the absence of their young co-star Cameron Boyce, who tragically passed away, has profoundly altered the dynamics. She conveyed, I'm going to say no because I don't think it would be the same without the whole original cast. It would just be different now, and we did it. We told the full story. We completed it. In a separate interview with Hollywood Life in December 2019, the actress elaborated on the challenges the original cast of Descendants faces when reflecting on the past and moving forward. She pointed out that while the notion of making another movie could evoke nostalgia and offer a form of healing, it might also be inappropriate due to the circumstances. Subsequent to Dove's interview, there was a noticeable outcry from many individuals who criticized Disney's decision to continue the franchise. They argued that descendants without Cameron are essentially not descendants. Do you also agree? Let me know in the comments what you think. Pointing out other cast members, it's confirmed that actor China Ann McLean is back to play the infamous sea witch Ursula's daughter Uma and Melanie Paxson and Joshua Coley will return as the fairy godmother and Hook. We have a lot of new faces joining the franchise, and they are all amazingly talented actors, which is why Descendants 4 sounds promising. Descendants 4 is not only the continuation of an immensely popular franchise, but also an opportunity for new and exciting characters to shine. Joining the cast are renowned artists Rita Ora, Brandy Norwood, and Paolo Montalban, who bring their talent and charisma to portray the parents of our young heroes. Their presence adds depth and richness to the story, creating a truly immersive experience for viewers. Yes, guys, this is interesting news. Brandy returns as Cinderella. In 1997, Brandy took on the role of Cinderella in a television interpretation titled Rogers and Hammerstein's Cinderella. This was a significant moment as she became the inaugural Black actress to depict Cinderella in a visual medium. The production also showcased Whitney Houston as the fairy godmother, alongside other notable actors such as Whoopi Goldberg, Bernadette Peters, and Jason Alexander. This particular show remains cherished by numerous individuals, and Brandy's return to her Cinderella role in Descendants generated enthusiasm due to her past association with the character. At present, an official release date for the upcoming movie has not been confirmed. It is said to be accessible on the Disney Plus streaming platform. The filming process commenced in September 2022. Given the timing of previous Descendants film releases, enthusiasts speculate that The Rise of Red might be released in either late 2023 or early 2024. Descendants for The Rise of Red is set to bring magic, adventure, and excitement to the screen. With its intriguing storyline, talented cast, and new characters, it's shaping up to be a must-watch for fans of the franchise. Are you ready to dive into the enchanting world of Oridon and the Isle of the Lost once again? Please share your views and opinions in the comment section with us. Well, that's it. For now, make sure that you like our video, subscribe to the channel to get updated regularly with the latest news and reviews on upcoming movies from us, and do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video, we'll see you at the next one.